Today in this video I'm going to show you how to fix Windows has encountered a problem. Communicating with a device connected to your computer. File. Boot BCD status. 0x00000E9. Info. An unexpected I.O. error has occurred. This error 0x00000E9 is usually related to a bad hard disk with corrupted system files or due to invalid BIOS settings. How to fix this problem follow my all step don't skip the video first you open the CPU cabinet and turn off the power of the computer or open the power cable like me. After unplugging the power cable open the SATA cable and the hard disk power cable with your hard disk and clean it well with a cloth. In fact the 0xC00000E9 error message is telling you that the computer is having problems in communicating properly with your hard drive. Clean it well and put it back in the same way as the cables were laid. And your SATA cable is attached to your motherboard, open it, clean it well and put it back in place. Then turn on the computer and see if it works well, and if not ok, follow the next step. Change your SATA cable and try changing it if you have another SATA cable most of SATA. Cables have problems you just have to change the SATA cable once. If you have extra SATA cable, change the rhythm and if you don't have it, unplug the cable. With DVD writer and insert it on the hard disk. The power supply has two power cable connections, one of which is connected to a DVD writer. Open the power cable and insert the hard drive. Then turn on the computer. You must do this before you do this modify and load default your BIOS settings. Enter into your BIOS settings Dell to enter setup press S to enter setup BIOS. Configuration. F2 F10 to enter setup load default settings, load optimal defaults. Even then, if it is not right, take a screwdriver and open the hard disk, open it. Take an eraser, clean the hard disk arrow top where the SATA cable and power cable are attached, and clean it like me. After cleaning well, connect the hard disk power cable and SATA cable, and check again. If it still doesn't work, then if you have an extra hard disk, insert it and boot the computer. If your computer boots, then you will think that your previous hard drive is totally bad. If you still have this problem, then first go to the BIOS settings and check if your hard disk is showing or if it shows, then format the computer by creating a bootable pen drive. If you still have problems with these things, buy a new hard drive, install Windows and run it, or take it to a computer repair shop to show it. This problem occurs when most of your hard disk is not connected to the proper cable, and when the system is corrupted. This is definitely a hardware problem. This way you can solve your hardware problem very easily. If the computer does not boot after doing all this, then you must take it to the computer repair shop. If you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share.